I don't know how well you can see it from here, but you can see the water now that it's the daytime. It's actually a pretty good view for like a $12 hotel, right? And the water looks really nice in like a, like a light blue kind of turquoise color. Really beautiful. Uh, so yeah, it might be a good resort budget sort of uh, resort experience if that's what you're into. But today, that's not what I'm doing. Today, we're going to El Salum, the, uh, the town on the border with Libya. And we're gonna see if I can't maybe make friends with some people trying to uh, trying to migrate to Europe or something like that. I don't, I don't know, we're just gonna go see what, what happens there. But first thing, I need to go to a shop because you know I realized that I want to be friendly with people and I want to uh, be able to offer somebody something you know, like if I was in Mexico, I'd walk, I'd just walk around with like a bottle of tequila, just offering people drinks. But, uh, but people don't really drink here. So I was thinking, you know, what, what's something that every Arab wants? So you got a lot of money. So he's telling me that for 50, uh, they uh, charge 50 pounds. I'm a bunch of bunt, just Amriki, not a problem. So he's telling me, I, I should be wearing my mask right now, but. America, yeah. America, Almania, has uh -huh. been. Yeah, Mishmishkin. Amriki, Muslim, no. Uh -huh. Almani, Ingeltera, no. Khamsi. Sa, sa. Hena, la. Uh -huh. <laughs> so he's telling me for. Nah, I should be wearing my mask right now, but this just kind of happened so fast, and I can't really appreciate it. But uh, uh, but uh, he's saying that it's 50, 50 pounds for Egyptians if they if they're caught like not wearing their mask. But from what I can see, it doesn't really seem to be enforced. Like nobody. Uh, Okay, baby, okay. Yeah. Uh, Hello? Uh huh? Uh, yeah. When? Uh, okay. 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 Oh, and what I wanted to say in the taxi, the guy kept cutting me off when I was talking in English. Uh, anytime I talk in English, he just started ranting about things. Uh, but. Uh, the cigarettes. I, uh, I think I can count on one hand the amount of Arabs I met that don't smoke. So my friend, my point, is, my uh, goal is to use those to open conversations and uh, maybe make some friends. So we'll see how that goes. All right. So the guys I'm sharing this car with left to go smoke. So I feel like I can talk for a bit without disturbing somebody. Um, the so I got a shared car. I'm sorry about the music, but I got a shared car. So which these things, these are pretty common in Jordan too. Basically, instead of taking a bus or something, they said that there aren't any buses to us at all, which kind of makes sense. It's a small town. Um, you basically take a taxi and they fill the car up, and then they just split the, the fee among four people. So for me, it'll be a hundred pounds to go from here to Salon, and then each everybody else will pay a hundred, right? So it comes out to like seven dollars per person. So that's why. So that's what I'm doing. And uh, the cigarettes I got because uh, I just wanted to. Egyptians again honking their horns all the time. We just stopped at this village here because our driver apparently is 
has a delivery from Musa Matro to somebody in this village. So uh, we're waiting for the person to come pick up his items that he ordered. Or what? Uh, maybe an hour and a half outside of the city. Right, Libya. And the ship is in Libya. Libya. In Libya. Ah, okay. Study pharmacy, Cairo University. Ah, okay. Oh, and then Tripoli or Benghazi? Gabal Benghazi, Shwee. Ah, okay. Six hours. Ah, okay. Okay. They say, uh, uh, Libya, guard Libya, mm. is uh, dangerous, they say. Yeah, uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Uh, so, what is the problem with the guard Libya? It's a war. A war? It's a war. 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 أشخاص رايحين لألمانيا أو أو يوروب في ليبيا صح؟ صح لهون ل للحدود يعني؟ هم للحدود لل أو 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 من السلون ل ليبيا ل ألمانيا أو أو يوروب لا 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 صعب لا ليبيان and Egyptian Ah, yes. The driver is arguing with somebody on the phone because he came to deliver something to somebody here and uh, they're not showing up. And I'll tell you what, by the coast over here, you see him wearing my jacket. It's really nice. It's like, it's like 20 degrees today. Um, it's really, really comfortable. And actually, it would be really beautiful if it wasn't for all the garbage and stuff that people leave around. But I imagine that like, when, you're, when you're out here, what else are you going to do with it, right? Like, what, what else are you going to do with the garbage? Let's see. But to me, the idea that, you know, for hundreds of miles this way, this is south, hundreds of miles this way, there's just nothing, nothing but sand, uh, for the most part, right? That's, kind of, that's really neat, I think. Uh, it's really beautiful. Um, Oh, and the Bolivian guy too, he was saying that the town El Salum by Libya is, is totally safe. Um, I wasn't really worried about it, but um, he said it's totally safe. I'll tell you what though, it is a gorgeous day. Like, like I said, 20 degrees, the sun's out, it's not really cloudy, there's a nice breeze, it might... The trucks are kind of loud, and maybe the breeze is messing with the audio a bit. Oh, here's our guy here, I think. But, uh, but like I said, it's a nice, really comfortable day. It's just beautiful. Uh, I think these are the guys here for the package, so. one hell of a journey. So my new Libyan friend, Adam, he's awesome. First of all, he's really cool. We talked like the whole time. I showed you a little bit of the conversation, but it, I'll, I'll just summarize in a bit. But first, well, I'm gonna show you, this is my hotel, about $12 again, pretty pretty nice. Unfortunately, there's no internet in like the whole city because it's a small city. Well, at least not in the hotels. There's no, there's only two hotels and none of them have internet. So I'm not gonna be able to get much work done, but. Let me go outside and show you like what this place actually looks like. And, uh, and I'll tell you about my conversation with Adam because we talked a lot about Libya. Salam. Do you soda? Salam. Show us Mark. Show us Mark. Jedi? Ah, I'm a white. You're from here? Ah, I'm from America. I'm from America. Show? I'm yeah. Say uh, salam. Salam la America. Yeah. Check out the beach. Sorry about the wind. There's 
a lot of garbage. But again, I can forgive that as much as I don't like people leaving garbage around anywhere. I can forgive that because we're in the middle of nowhere. Where are they supposed to put their garbage? But the water is beautiful. It reminds me of the color of water in like the Gulf of Mexico, like off eastern Mexico. At least in this section here where it's sandy. The beach is pretty rocky. Well, this is beautiful. This is in the middle of nowhere. Imagine if they just, if you just clean up the beach a little bit, it would be, this would be an awesome spot to hang out. Somebody is confused because I'm walking down on the beach. I think I need a ride or something. <laughs> this is gorgeous. So if you see those buildings on the top of that hill over there, I'm saying that, but I doubt you see them. But on the top of that hill, is the border of Egypt and Libya. Like, you know, maybe one, two kilometers that way. Not far at all. But this town is beautiful. All the people are friendly. And, uh, and Marsa Matruh and Alexandria, everyone was like, why do you want to go to Salum? There's nothing there. But this is awesome. And it's so quiet. And, and the temperature is perfect. It's like 19 degrees with a cool breeze. It doesn't get better than this. Friendly people. I'll go into the village a little bit more later. But come on, yeah. If we just cleaned up this beach a little bit, well, cleaned up the beach a lot of bit, I should say. It'd be a really nice spot. Look at this water. Look how blue that water is. And, uh, wow, I need a haircut. And the town itself doesn't even look like run down or anything like a lot of uh, Egyptian towns do. It's nice. Hi, Lola. Lola is my uh, other friend from Libya, which, uh, shameless plug, she's going to be on the podcast this weekend talking about Islam from the female perspective. She's from Tripoli though, which is really far from here. So let's talk about my new friend from Libya, Adam. Hold on. These guys, I think, are confused that I'm walking on the beach. They think I'm lost or something, probably. Hold on. Or maybe, okay, maybe they don't think I'm lost. Maybe uh, just the white guy in this village is, is the new attraction. The beach isn't the attraction, it's me. Uh, so, speaking of Adam, he was telling me that this border crossing is used pretty much exclusively by uh, Libyans and Egyptians. Um, it's very rare that anybody else crosses through here. And I was asking him about, you know, African migrants to Europe and stuff, and he says that they all come south through Sudan and Chad, and then come into the south southern borders of Libya. Now, we talked a lot about Libya. It's a complicated place. Um, there's like, he said there's various different governments and factions and militias who are trying to take control over the oil fields in different parts of the country. And uh, that's what causes the main danger. And uh, he confirmed personally with me that slavery is still a very real thing there, um, which is something I've heard of, but I wasn't, I didn't know for sure. And then also that, this lighting might, might be better this way. And also that, or I should say to the slaves, a lot of these people coming from sub-Saharan Africa are trying to go to Europe through Libya. And because Libya is so chaotic, it's kind of, uh, it's sort of like the port from Africa to, to Europe. Um, because in the midst of all that chaos, you know, you can sort of find your way through. Or if you were to try to go through Egypt, which is a relatively secure country, uh, it would be difficult, right? So a lot of these people have no papers, they have no money, they have nothing to lose. So, you know, these factions will will capture them, capture Egyptians who are trying to do the same thing, and enslave them to, to and enslave them and make them work in oil fields and things like that. So it's a really sad situation. 
But he said the good thing is that since the revolution, since they overthrew uh, Al Qaddafi in what the early 2000s, I think, he said the economic situation is a lot better there. So although it's a bit more dangerous in Libya, as far as conflicts and factions fighting with each other and things like that, the overall economic situation for the average person trying to find a job, provide for their family and all that is much, much better. Because with Qaddafi in power, everything was secure. All the oil fields and everything were all under his power though. And he took all the oil money, right? Where now there's more opportunities for work and things is what he says. It's a really interesting conversation and it makes me really want to visit Libya even more. Shut up, Adam. Thank you very much for uh, talking to me and helping me figure all of this out. But God, I'm just going to enjoy this place, I think. I might stay here for a couple days. People seem really excited to see a foreigner here, which is generally a sign that a place doesn't see a lot of foreigners. Interesting place. I tried to uh, find a place that was a little less windy and less noisy uh, to redo that voiceover that I was talking about, Libya, over there. But the problem is, is like, even though this isn't a very big town, still, you can probably hear the honking from here. It's either the wind on the beach or the honking in town. There's no, there's no getting away from the noise. This is just the way Egypt is, apparently, even on your uh, villages in the middle of the desert. <clears throat> But really interesting place. Let's see if we can find a bank. I need some money. You like soda? What? You like soda? Oh, boy, boy. Sure? Huh? Boy, boy. 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 Boy, Oh, there's so many kids around that want their photo taken. I'm not sure what he said. He said something about his dad. I don't know what he wants from his dad. Everyone wants their picture taken. Salam alaikum. Do you like soda? Do you like soda? Salam. Everyone's staring at me. God, I feel like I feel like the girl with double D's in high school. Like the way everybody's staring at me. Jesus. God, everyone just waves and wants their picture taken. And smiles. Unlike Jordanians. Apparently that's such a controversial statement. My uh I don't know if you guys remember with my video in Alexandria. I was talking about how Egyptians actually smile. And how Jordanians never smile, they just look angry all the time. And I posted that clip on TikTok. And it got removed for hate speech. Because apparently that's hate speech. I don't know. <laughs> it's not. But uh yes. This is kind of funny. You know, to think I thought to myself, the only reason I'm here is because I just look at the map sometimes I do that from time to time. And I just pick out a small town. I'm like, oh, that looks interesting. I wonder what's there. And that's what happened with this. I was like, oh, there's this little town, Libyan border. I wonder what it's like there. You know, and it's one of those places that's small enough. It got really windy again. So sorry about the noise. It's small enough that you can't really find anything online about the about photos, anything like that. So I was like, okay, let's go there. And here I am. Exceeded my expectations. Huh? Sora? Hey, hey, fuddle, fuddle. Fuddle. Hey. Now, 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 Hey, Koye, Koye, salam. Huh? Who is Makin? His name is Abdur Rahman. Abdur? Abdur Rahman. Abdur? Abdur Rahman. 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 Abdur
So? Any candles? That's what we get. Oh my god. Oh my god, that's right. Yeah, the Yeah, I'm Oh no, they're scared of the camera now. What? There you go. Hello, the Oh, شوف الهدبة بدي شوف انت شوف انت اها لا لا انا مش مش شوفك I don't understand their other questions. Oh, my baby, so. Oh, no, oh, no. We like Sura or Allah? Yes. Oh, okay. So, I've been invited to Iftar by uh, these guys going to the mosque because it's almost sunset. I'm probably going to end off this video now just because uh, I, I don't want to be rude. I think, uh, you know, trying to record something during their meal, I think that would be rude. Um, and uh, it's that's probably the fifth or sixth invitation to Iftar I've gotten today. But it's the first one I've sep accepted because the other ones mostly came from children. So I would, I would feel weird about showing up to somebody's house and uh, being like, uh, you know, their their kid being like, oh, you love me on the Amerki <laughs> or my Amerki, right? Uh, see. I cut there because a couple of trucks went by, but uh, yeah, I think I'm gonna end off this video now. I just, you know, don't want to be rude. I think we saw a lot today, and uh, I think I'm gonna stay here for a couple of days, so I might uh, might make another one video here, or maybe just when I leave. I don't know, but we'll see. Uh, surely it was one hell of an adventure getting here, so. Uh, have a good one, and uh, if you want to see more stuff like this, I got lots of other Africa adventures planned.